Hi there Aquarius, thank you so much for tuning in. This is your mid-June reading. I hope you're all doing well, enjoying June thus far. Let us see what is in store for you for the mid-month period. I'm hearing picking up the pieces, picking up the pieces. Whatever is sticky, whatever is stagnant, energy, 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 energy blockage flow. Something about the chakras for you Aquarius. Coming into your inner, I'm hearing alchemy, inner equilibrium to a point of, 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 of manifesting, manifesting complete uh, clarity of what it is that you desire to make yours. Ooh, right then and there, ace of wands, pops out, upright. There's a recognition, though, absolutely on the table that to pursue what's real to us, right, and to set our soul out of the stable, so to speak, we must, right, set ourselves free from any sort of um, uh, energy, 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 people, places, things, perspectives, self-talk, that somehow defies this feeling of even, I'm hearing gratitude, gratitude for what is our own, and what it is we are to make our own. There's there's um, a lot of fire here for you. It may absolutely speak to uh, um, career, finances, building our place in the world, how and where and when we are to create what it is that's real to us. Oh, yes, whatever this dream is. Aquarius, I almost said Sagittarius. You pull the star in reverse, overlaying the Ten of Cups upright. Oh, not Ten of Cups, but I said Cups, so we'll heed that. Okay, something about water and earth, the fusion between vision and tangibility, the seed, right, star, the star seed even, okay, the implantation and implementation of what is a dream, what is a desire, what is a feeling, an emotion, right? in such a way where it brings everything full circle. It brings everything full circle. There's an emphasis though for you on coming to terms with how we perceive, how we perceive this shift in reality, this, this alteration of, of, of um, approach, of how we pursue the process of manifestation. You pulled the magician, Okay, in the um, in the apex, right, of your spread, which is crowned by the two of swords upright, overlaying the father of swords upright. So where you have been on the fence in a state of obscurity, right? As I feel something, I know something, I want something, but right, I'm desiring it. But where do I go from desire? To manifestation. Where do I go from 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 um, um, recognition of what I desire to implementation of that vision? So there's a great emphasis for you on on perception of the process, perception, and it's almost like there are these two propensities, these two sides. Father of Swords speaks to that dichotomy. Right? There's a seriousness in the gaze of this of this owl, right? And yet, it's holding a super colorful sword, right? So it's coming to terms with what is, what is your reality? How do you, how do you feel about this? How do you, how do you perceive how you feel about this? Coming to start clarity with that. What are these two propensities that you're feeling? It, it, water and fire, water and fire, right? This blazing moon the apex, the perception of how we channel our fire propensities, our creative abilities, right? That speaks to manifestation, desire, attraction even, physical, the physical body, and water, vision, right? Emotion, nurturing of self and others, the nurturing of our vision, of our passion, of our fire, right? So to create, to 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 grow right even plants right if we think about it and as i was saying that right my elbow hit this deck here and it split exactly um into where more or less into where the nine of cups 
water, right, is in reverse at the, at the face of this deck. And the six of pentacles is in reverse, right, in the middle, overlaying the father of wands, fire. Now, we see here all three elements, fire, water, earth. And the synthesis of fire and water, right, the sun, light, daylight, energy, and water, nourishment, sustenance, maintenance of what, right, is radiated from a place that's very real to create, to build, to grow, to make tangible. So there's something about these two forces for you, and you pull the three of the major arcana, Empress, Aries' card. You, 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 you want to make it happen. It, right, and it's like a question of, I want to make it happen. How do I, right, bring all of my skills, my assets, my energy? I'm getting it's greatly energy, energetic. And it's, and it's uh, a reflection of you, right? Your uh, uh, embodiment of whatever it is that you want to create. How do I come into my zone where I am flowing and the energy is flowing in such a way where I am creating, right, energetically? It's the energetic harmony and balance I'm getting for you. I almost said Capricorn, I almost said Libra, Aquarius. It's the perception of what we hold. I'm getting the perception of energy. So again, what was obscure, right? What, what felt obscure, it's not a matter of that changing. It's a matter of how, of how you're perceiving what you felt and what you've known. Now, there's a spiritual dimension to this. I am feeling that. I almost said Sagittarius, okay. And you have temperance, Sagittarius' card here for you right over the death card, right over the wheel of fortune. Now, right, there is this desire for a new beginning. There is this, this waiting, 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 waiting. Heeding, heeding the signals. Is only looking, looking all about you, right? But again, it's not about looking about you. It's about how you are looking, how you are looking. And it's this feeling of, right, when you look at an object, and you could be looking at it for 15 minutes, right? 20 minutes, and it's like, it's like even those, those, um, the, the illusion sort of illustrations, right, where it's like you can look, there are like two images in the same illustration, just depending on how you see it. And it, right, so it's like, you, you've been looking at this illustration, right? and your friend is like, "Hey, like, don't, don't you see the other image in this illustration? It's like, it's like a cat with a woman, right, sitting there on the tabletop. Like, don't you see it?" And you're like, "No, I only see like the, the blue moon with, with the uh, uh, insurmountable wave, right? Like, whatever it is that you see." In the current moment, right, which again may feel obscure, like blasphemous, like wow, why do I even see that? Why or why don't I see what they're seeing? Or right, something. It's like what? What is it? What's the hang up? What's the catch up? I'm hearing that, but it's in that moment, right, where it's split second, you see it, you see it, and so it's not because the illustration changed, right? It's just simply your perception. It's the shift. So I don't feel circumstance. I don't feel it's circumstance. I feel that it's the shifting of, um, of how you, I'm also getting shape-shifting, shape-shifting. Okay, so it's, it's again, it's like a perception. Perception, how we are viewing something. Now, you're waiting to, you're waiting on the world. The world is waiting on you. That's that's how you, you feel you feel. Okay, you pulled um, the devil, overlaying the ace of swords in reverse, overlaying the world upright, overlaying strength in reverse, 
overlaying judgment. This is profound, profound. Whatever this again, right? Six of six of swords. Six of swords in reverse. Beneath judgment. There is, right? Whatever this process is, it's been tireless. And it's like almost like I I've been looking at this thing for so very long, <laughs> this illustration, and I haven't been seeing it. Why haven't I been seeing it? Do I need to like turn it? Do I need to to look away and then look back? Is it right? Maybe I've been looking at it too long, right? It's this weariness. But you've been standing by it because you know I'm gonna get it. Right? It's like an algorithm, it's like a math problem. I know I can get this. I know, I know. And I don't feel that it's a matter of time, yet again. I don't feel that it's a matter of time. I feel that it is a matter, again, of how you are seeing things. Strength in reverse. Strength in reverse. There's something. I'm getting energy flow. Energy flow. Something about chakras. Chakras, chakras, Aquarius. The more that you tune into the chakras, you uh, calibrate, so to speak, chakras. Right? To get yourself in balance in some kind of way, right? You will find your balance, and it's almost like, right? When you find your balance, then everything that was hazy or blurry becomes clear, becomes clear, right? And so it's that waking up. It's that, it's that waking up, and it may require of you, right, to shift. To shift the actual environment that you're in, it may help you, right, to, to take a to take um, a step back, right, to zoom out. I'm getting zoom out, zoom out to see the broader principles, okay? Because again, right, it's not a matter of time. It's not a matter of right the day coming, it being night. It's a matter of of um, seeing through even the dark simply by way of your light, of your vision, right? That, that light is rather your answer. That is your answer. Your answer is your answer, your personal answer. But again, it starts with the balance of you, the harmony and the equilibrium of you. So where you come into your personal vibration, where you come into your um, balance, and you're stable, right, where you stand, then everything around you, right, it's like it merges, and it flows, and it harmonizes, right, like frequencies, and that is where, right, it's not even a matter of trying, straining to see, to create, to manifest, to be, to change your, right, vision, right? It's then just begun. I'm hearing it's just begun. That's where, that's where it begins. Where, where you recognize, once and for all, whatever this shift is in perception that was needed. Perception of perception. Shaking up the way that we've been seeing things. Whatever this cycle has been of seeing things in a certain way, right? Greatly, greatly having to do with air energy. Air energy. That's where, right? We plant the seed. We plant the seed, and it may absolutely pertain to, I'm getting entrepreneurial venture for a number of you, okay, entrepreneurial venture for a number of you, I'm hearing startup. So something about, right, just that, that, that start, just that, ooh, right, it, and, and it's been testy emotionally as well, right, you have this ace of uh, cups, overlaying the ten of cups, overlaying the ten of wands, overlaying the nine of swords, there is this um, a recognition that it's that it's um, it's all you, it's all you, and what you create is simply that. So where you step into you, right? You flow, you flow within, and you flow right without. 
to which point you're flowing out and in at the same time. And you become one, one with yourself and the world and what you're creating. Then you merge with what you're creating. And that way, right, you see it for what it you feel it to be, what you feel it to be. And again, what you perceive it to be. Okay, Aquarius. So thank you so very much for tuning in. I hope this reading was helpful for you. Please feel free to check out your rising as an our moon sign. That may provide you with further, those videos may provide you with further insights into your situation. For example, I know I resonate a lot with my moon sign even more than my sun sometimes. So it doesn't hurt to check it out. All right. But if you don't know your signs, you can click the link below in the description box that I provide and that will complete them for you. All right. Otherwise, thank you so very much, Aquarius, for tuning in. Have a beautiful June and I'll see you soon. Bye.